Welcome everyone. The members of Managing Bulls are excited to present our final presentation for our TV show concept that revolves around the scandal at work at the fictional workplace of Hillside Realtors. Each member, Brandon, Anna, Faith, Mark, and myself, Tiffany, are excited to present our project. We worked really hard on it this semester and again, we hope you enjoy our presentation. So let's get on with it, shall we? The plot of our TV show takes place at Hillside Realtors, where honesty is our best policy. Or is it? The emphasis on this so-called honesty foreshadows the fact that not as all as it seems at Hillside Realtors. We will find that the head of the real estate company is masking a heavy amount of fraud and has done so for quite a while now, even with the help of one of his agents. It's up to the bookkeeper and assistant coordinator of HR to unravel the mysteries that lie within the company. The concepts covered will be making ethical decisions, managerial ethics, and social responsibility. And we're targeting the millennials and, of course, the silent generation, who may be experiencing similar situations. So, without further ado, let's meet our characters, shall we? Meet Aaron Jackson, the branch manager of Hillside Realtors for eight years. Upon first meeting him, you will find that he presents himself in a smooth, professional manner. He is married and a father of two, well-educated, and very charming in nature. He appeals to his clients and co-workers alike, and all seems well on the front. However, in reality, he has been misusing his managerial authority to host unnecessary and extravagant meetings, steal money for the company, all while having affairs with even his own agents. It is later revealed that this amount of theft has been building up for several years and continues to do so with no remorse, giving him the codename Swindler in our TV show. As a manager, his positive qualities include that he's charming, he appeals to his clients and co-workers alike, he's confident and incredibly cunning, able to make quick decisions, and of course he's well educated and he does apply his knowledge accordingly. However, his negative qualities include that he's incredibly sleazy, he overexerts his confidence, he's dishonest and hides the frauds he has been committing for years. And of course, he's irresponsible, as he's been using his managerial powers in unethical ways. And who will be the one to bring Mr. Jackson to justice? Well, let's find out. This is Jessica Hernandez, and she is what you might consider to be the protagonist of this TV show, as she is the main reason Aaron Jackson will eventually become exposed for his wrongdoings automatically dubbing her the whistleblower. She has been the bookkeeper for this company for the past three years. Jessica is very analytical in nature and enjoys mystery novels, which is obviously useful in unraveling her own mystery at her job. She is the first one to take action upon said mystery in alerting human resources of every act of fraud Mr. Jackson had committed. Her intuition is unmatched and is or Overall, very organized, efficient, and confident. Justin Sachs is Jessica's point of contact when calling human resources. Justin has already built a reputation for being incredibly persuasive and has already resolved many issues within Hillside Realtors. Unlike Mr. Jackson, Justin is genuine and honest making him more of a prime example of what a manager should be. He is idealistic, fair-minded, and thoroughly enjoys people when he can. Despite the fact that he's only been working at Eelside for six months, he's quite enthusiastic and continues to impress his co-workers and boss. He is automatically dubbed the mediator since he's so good at resolving these issues. His traits can be summed up in the words idealistic, astute, and persuasive. At the tail of this cast of characters is Hannah Mosley, dubbed the puppet of this TV show for various reasons. 
Remember how I had said that Jessica was the first to take action when discovering Mr. Jackson's crime? Well, Hannah was the first to know, period. She is an agent who has fallen for Aaron's charm and has had her own affairs with him. She helps Mr. Jackson conceal his many acts of fraud and relishes in the benefits he gives her. For these reasons, she's known to be narcissistic, flirtatious, and just as secretive as Aaron Jackson. Given the kind of show we have presented, how have we implemented managerial concepts when the manager isn't idealistic in the slightest? Well, Mr. Jackson may not be favorable, but Jessica certainly is. Since episode one, Jessica had quickly discovered how Aaron was abusing his position of power through tampering with the budget, and was equally as quick to judge and further bring his actions to justice. One of the major concepts covered not only in this episode, but for the whole TV show, is making ethical decisions. Episode 1 demonstrates a company when a member, the branch manager in this case, of the workplace is making unethical choices, and the choices that can be made to resolve the issues at hand, no matter how intimidating it may seem. It sets up for a great start to the TV show, as it introduces Jessica's motivation to expose Mr. Jackson and draws audiences to wonder what exactly she will do to execute it. In episode three, Enough is Enough, the television show reaches its climax. In this episode, Jen decides that she will blow the whistle on Hannah and Aaron's unethical behavior and contact human resources. This demonstrates the concept of whistleblowing found in the textbook on page 48. Whistleblowing is when an employee discloses illegal or unethical conduct on the part of others in the organization. Jessica is friends with Hannah and knows that both her and other realtors in the office don't care about the unethical behavior going on. This almost causes her to become a victim of the detrimental phenomenon caused, called groupthink. Groupthink occurs when agreement among members becomes so dominant that it overrides a realistic appraisal of alternative courses of action. Thankfully, Jennifer overcomes this and decides to make the right decision in correcting the unethical lapse. Aaron and Hannah's behavior is considered an unethical lapse since their actions are contrary to their beliefs and the company's policy. In this episode, Jessica's effective leadership qualities made the business a better place and a more successful real estate company. Now, let's go over our group's general conclusions about management. Being a successful manager involves three main components. The first of these requires knowledge of the field you are managing. This will add depth to a manager's perspective, help create goals for a team, and develop an organization's culture. The next vital component would be developing intra and interpersonal skills. This ability is the most defining quality in a manager because it involves advancing one's ethics, communication skills, and other qualities that create a positive manager. The implementation of core strategies is the final component in successful management. This involves knowing what to do and when to do it, such as conflict resolution, means of communication, effective rewards and punishments, and more things like that. Reflections are a very important piece of any product. Looking back on the semester, all of our group members and managing bowls had a positive experience with the group TV show. Each of us had a significant role in the group's success. Our method of dividing the coursework into sections and submitting the parts early for constructive criticism worked beautifully every week. The class was unique and stimulating since we were all able to use our creative abilities while learning the management concepts. The TV show also allowed us to create situations where concepts were brought to life in a real world setting. Our recommendation for, for, for future students would be to first develop a communication method with your team right off the bat and keep steady communication throughout the semester. We found that this was key with every single assignment each week. 
Familiarizing yourself with the assignments due each week and the goal behind the assignment will help drastically when creating ideas and brainstorming. Finally, take thorough notes when reading the chapters and watching the videos, lectures, so that you can reference terms and concepts for the assignments. As you're reading, think about how each chapter's terminology and concepts can be incorporated into your TV show. If you follow these recommendations, the class will be a great learning and developing experience. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed managing Bull's TV show concept.